Hey, G Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So, today's episode, we got this cool image around here, and basically, what this is is electric hot pot. If you see the one that we got right here is from this brand. If you guys can see right here, we do have two box because they do have this available in two different colors, which is green and white. Let me actually open both of them to show you guys what she looks like first. All right, so when you guys first open up, here is basically what the pot looks like. So, if you can see how it's all nicely wrapped up, let's take off all the wrapper first. All right, so inside they do provide guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. Right here they do provide a cable that you can use to plug it in to activate the product. Right here they provide guys a lid that we take it out. Here is basically what the lid looks like. So they do have two holes for the steam to come out. And right here they do provide guys a little handle that can lift up really easily. And if you guys turn to the other side, here is basically what the other side of the lid looks like. And then right here, if you see, we do have the actual product. So you see in the front right here, we do have the brand logo. And inside right here, this is basically what the product looks like. So if you see the inside of this part right here, it is like a non-stick coating. So if you guys want to fry stuff in here, or if you guys want to do hot pot, how you guys want to use it, that is totally up to you guys. But having that non-stick layer on here is actually really helpful. So that way, when you guys clean it, it's actually really easy to clean. But right here, if you see, we do have the knob for you guys to adjust the different settings on here. And on the side right here is where you guys want to plug in the cable to activate it. And then right here is basically what the bottom part looks like. So if you see on the bottom, they do have like a non-slip material. So that way when you guys put on a flat surface, it shouldn't move around. And right here in the bottom is probably the ventilation fan. So when you guys are cooking stuff, it won't overheat. So when you guys put the lid together, here is basically what the prop looks like. So this is basically the first one, which is the green one. Let me just cut the other one to show you guys what that looks like as well. All right, so once you guys take it out, you can see how all the product is nicely wrapped up as well. But let's have all the wrapper first. All right, so same thing for this one. They also probably got the user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. Right here, they probably got the cable that you can use to plug it in to activate it. And then right here, here is basically what the lid looks like for this one. So this one is basically like a white color, but everything on here is basically the same. We do have the two hole options right here. And right here, we do have the handle for you to carry around really easily. And then here is basically what the other side looks like. And then last but not least, we do have the actual product. So you can see everything on here is basically the same. We do have the non-stick coating that's inside. We do have the brand logo on the side. We do have the knob where you got to increase the different settings on here for the temperature. Right here is basically where you guys will plug in the cable to activate it. And then here is basically what the bottom part looks like. So if you guys put on the lid for this one, here is basically what the white one looks like. So when you guys put it side by side, you guys can see what the product looks like. So both of them definitely looks pretty cool when you guys do actually set it up. But basically for the temperature that's on here, there's two different modes. So there's mode one and mode two. Mode one is 300 watts, which is the lowest temperature. And then mode two is 600 watts. So mode two is more ideal for you guys to use for a hot pot or something that requires more heat. But I love the way how to design the product because it is detachable for the handle part right here. And then for the handle part right here, it's actually pretty long. So that way it can carry around really easily. So whether if you guys want to use it at home, in the office, or if you guys want to use it in your dorm, however you guys want to use it, that is totally up to you guys. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Let me actually go test this out to show you guys how it works and when it should work first. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so I'll use the green one for the test to show you guys how it works. So I'm gonna do a very quick and very easy test. So I'm gonna put some water inside right here and then we'll turn it on to show you guys when it should work. If you guys wanna like boil water. So today all you're gonna do is open up the lid and then pour some water in. All right, so that should be enough. Let's put that on the lid. And you guys wanna plug in the cable right here on the side. Once you guys plug it in, you guys wanna turn the knob on top. So for this test, I'll turn it to two. So that was much more powerful. Once you guys do that, all you need to do is just let it kind of boil by itself. So I'm gonna let it do its own thing and come back and check on it. All right, so it's been a few minutes. If you guys can see the inside starting to boil a little bit already. So let's open up the lid. And we see there's some steam that's coming out. You can definitely see a lot of bubbles that's on there. But I'll let it finish boiling first. So you can see right now the product is actually boiling a lot. There's actually a lot of steam that's coming out. And if you guys open the lid, here is basically what the inside looks like. So whether if you guys want to boil water, if you guys want to cook noodle in here, or if you guys want to do hot pot or fry stuff on here, however you guys want to use it, that is totally up to you guys. But you can see the product definitely heats up pretty fast when you guys do use it. It actually works pretty well. And then once you guys are done using it, you basically want to turn the knob to turn it off. And you guys are basically all set. So very easy and very simple for us to use it. Welcome right, back guys. So nice little quick test of product and definitely actually does work and actually works quite well. So you see the way how you guys use the product is actually very simple. All you need to do is add your food or your liquid inside and just turn the knob to whatever you guys want, whether it's from mode one or mode two. And then once you guys do that, you can definitely see the product start working immediately. What I do recommend is that it's the first time using the product, you do want to use some warm water and some soap to actually wash it first. So that way it's nose clean before you actually use it. 
But definitely for this pot, you do have the option to play around with how you guys want to. Whether if you guys want to do hot pot, frying stuff, sauteing stuff, or however else you guys want to use it, that is totally up to you guys. But that is basically everything that's on the bottom. Now that we come boxing and testing bottom, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this pot, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality electric hot pot. Where it's super portable, where it's a fry stuff on here, doing hot pot, sauteing stuff or whatever. Then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.